Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we got a bit of a special team for you. It is a team built by a good friend of mine, Stu. He is a UK player. Uh, he's top cut a bunch of the Rose Tower trainer circuits this season, done extremely well in the Sword and Shield uh, format. And he's got some great finishes in previous formats as well, and definitely a player to watch out for. So big shout out to Stu. Thank you so much for um, obviously sending the team over and allowing us to play and it's a special in another sort of way as well because it is featuring a pokemon that got a little bit of hype the start of series six but hasn't actually seen as much play as what maybe some of us expected and that's comma all there is still plenty of time in series six for this pokemon to make a splash but i'm excited to kind of play it today obviously the screen the team is on the screen in front of you right now with the talonflame the comma all uh clefairy melotic durant and luxray so some really nice picks in there and some decent pokemon as well so it's going to be a very exciting i guess it to play this one there will be a poker paste down in the description below and as always there will be a rental team uh code at the end of the episode so without further ado let us hop into it i think we'll choose some different music today because i think we've been stuck on the uh the same uh oh, eternatus three i have no idea what this one is i was trying to look for marnie Marnie's always my favorite so we've got k arthur up first as our uh, first opponent playing espion Talonflame, Rotom, Mo, Urshifu, Primarina, and Rhyperia. So, uh, I mean, what what what's my opponent trying to do here? Obviously, there's no Trick Room mode on my opponent's team. It looks more like a, a Tailwind variant with the Talonflame being the, the predominant speed control user on the team. So that's something we need to keep in mind here and maybe match with our own Tailwind as well. Uh, the Rhyperia obviously going to be probably Lightning Rod, I would imagine, to kind of support something like the Primarina. And the Primarina does cause a few issues for Koma or uh, certainly. Uh, other than that, Koma or doesn't do too badly here at all. Obviously, he has to watch out for the Espion. It's whether or not we can kind of get set up with the throat spray or not um i don't know um let's see i don't feel like durant's great as a lead looks at it is nice uh but we um need to watch out for the right period of course uh, but the intimidate is really quite useful um i think we'll actually go luxury uh, 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 uh. yeah i mean luxury let's just check some moves we haven't got long to select our options yeah i think yeah we'll go luxury the Assault Vest gives us a bit of stability. Um, I think we'll go Coma or and I think we'll go Clefairy. Because it does give us a little bit of a helping hand against something like the Urshifu that we may see. Right, let's get into it. I feel like the Luxray can help deal with the Primarina, especially with the Assault Vest there. Um, I've got a bunch of instructions from Stu, so I should be able to uh, get some results with this one today, obviously. Um, on the ladder best, the one you can never tell. Uh, you're always going to come up against something like a bit obscure sometimes. So we'll try and see if we can get around this. Obviously, the Intimidate here going to be mega useful against the Urshifu. We do pressure it as well uh, with Talonflame, so that's quite a nice... Um, start for us at least we can match tailwinds as well because you've got a gale winds intact um so what urshifu variant is this let's have a quick gander it is the uh, the dog fighting type obviously if it does wild charge um you know we have to be careful because it can't it, obviously it will be it will still be critical hit hitting us so i'm going to switch looks right out preserve that intimidate for a little bit later on we may need it for the primarina uh get clefairy onto the field at least we've got moon blast as an, an an offensive option there and i think we do match the tailwind from my um opponent's talent flame because it, it's likely that's what they're going to go for here we do have the option of course to go uh max and go for an attack into talent flame but I don't know if it's worthwhile just yet as we see their talent flame protect we are going to get our tailwind up and we'll see what my opponent goes for with the wicked blow maybe into our talent flame honestly it would make a lot of sense to try and get rid of our speed control as early on as possible and that's what we see but not quite enough to take us down talent flame still going to be in a nice position now my opponent does have the option to tailwind here um so it might be worth us just using a little bit of room uh 
to go for a Brave Bird into the opposing Urshifu here. Because they can Brave Bird themselves and take our Talonflame down. So we want to try and just mitigate that. Allow our Talonflame to get an attack off into Urshifu. It will help us deal with it a bit later on as we do see my opponent set their Tailwind up. So I'm going to have Tailwind and then a turn, additional turn. Uh, extra than what we have but we do get the the brave bird into urshifu which is nice uh obviously taking it down to its sash and uh, revealing that as we do go down to the recoil so um we are down at pokemon already not ideal but not the worst thing in the world as we see just a fire punch come out and i think hmm I don't really want to get Como or out onto the field yet, although, you know, at the minute, it feels like a good opportunity to get the uh, the Clangorous Soul off and then Max and just go to town kind of from there because the Follow Me support that we got from Clefairy is offering us um, amazing support right now for us to actually be able to do this. Um, whether or not we just want to attack, though, and maybe get the Throat Spray uh, active... I don't know. I feel like maybe because we've got the Intimidate here, we could go for um, Clang and Scales. Um, oh, Clangorous Soul. Do we go for Clangorous Soul? I mean, it would be it would be good. It puts us in a, an amazing position. Um, although it might be better just to get the Throat Spray going here and then max the next turn if we want. And we may even end up maxing Luxray if there's something like Primarina in the back, honestly. Uh, I think we'll just go for the attack here. I think it might um, serve us a little bit better than losing HP um, and, and getting this off. And maybe seeing something like Primarina come in, which will make us probably want to um, change our board position, I think. So, Joe Wingbeat coming out. I mean, Clefairy's just, with the Intimidate support there, it's a beast that's going to be able to take a, a bunch of attacks from... Uh, either of these Pokemon. We do see the double up into it and even with a, the critical hit Wicked blow we are able to take that pretty comfortably and we'll get this clang and scales off get rid of the Urshifu and get a nice chunk onto the talent flame Only issue is obviously we do reduce our defense that which isn't ideal uh, But we do get the throat spray boost which is which is ideal uh, Especially going into this next turn. So the splash special attack boost um, and we'll see what my opponent brings in. Now we've got one turn of Tailwind left, so we need to keep that in mind uh, as my opponent's got two turns left. So uh, we do need to be just mindful, especially after this next turn, depending on what they bring in. I'd imagine it'd be Primarina, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but we will soon see. We'll soon see, won't we? Um, as they're just making their mind up. I mean, they may not have brought the Primarina. It would, it would surprise me. Okay, it's the Espion. Huh. That does surprise me. That really does surprise me. Um, okay. So I think one, one thing we could potentially do is go protect. Um, and we could max here and go. We could just go, yeah. I mean, are they baiting us? That's the other thing. Are they bait? Like, they're going to have expanding force, but they're not going to be able to expanding force with Clefairy on the field. I do feel like going for protect here with Clefairy is not a bad option. Um, although, we could just follow me. We'll probably take a dual wing beat, honestly. And Max Wormwind into Espion. Um, depends what the Espion is obviously carrying. But I feel like we're going to... It's all about Koma or in this episode, so why not? Let's go for the Max here. Let's try and... and chop a few things down you know if my opponent's last pokemon is the uh the primarina then you know i think luxury is gonna have it's gonna have an all right time against it. it's not gonna be doing amazing work but um i think we'll be all right nonetheless we'll just have to wait and see we'll see we'll see <laughs> famous last words it's all about taking the dual wing bt if we take this with um Oh, we avoid. That's perfect for us. So we get the Max Wormwind into the Espion. I think it's going to set up a, a Trick Room, you know. It looked like it was maybe trying to. Because Espion normally would outspeed Coma or. Um, considering that their Tailwind's got one more turn. Our Tailwind has pitted out. But the fact that we've still got Clefairy on the field. That Talonflame's down to minus two now. We're sitting in a nice position. It's actually Rhyperia, which is ideal. Idea, although, although, if it does have weakness policy, it's not so great. Um, I think what we'll do is protect. Um, and we will go for a... 
We'll go for a Wormwind into the Town Flame. Just get rid of that. Because I wouldn't mind keeping Clefairy around on the field at the minute. It has got the Friend Guard. Uh, it does make the end game a little bit trickier with Luxury, of course, with, with Rhyperia. Thing is, I don't want to attack into it straight away with um, Max Knuckle or anything like that. Because there's always a potential it's got weakness policy. Even though it's probably lightly sashed, I would imagine. Um... The defense drop on Coma O is a little bit worrying now, uh, especially if they don't target into the Clefairy. So we're kind of banking on my opponent, going after the Clefairy, uh, trying to get rid of it. As we do see a Flare Blitz, it is into the Clefairy. So that's a that's a nice call from mm. us. Um, we do still outspeed the Rhyperia, so whether or not it is a Tailwind variant, because the, the kind of the makeup of my opponent's team, when you look at it, with no Trick Room options, maybe the Espion, I guess. Does it even get Trick Room? I have no idea. You would imagine it may do because it's a psychic type i should really know um you would think it was more of a a, a, a tailwind riperia with with lightning rod ro rather than um anything else now that tailwind does end we've got one turn of max left uh we could potentially just helping hand and go for a wormwind and put it down to minus two which might not be a bad idea in all honesty, I don't mind if it's gone for the defense boosts either. Um, honestly, because, uh, you know, at this point, we're going to be hitting it on the special side with Aurora Sphere. So we don't really necessarily need to worry too much about its um, its defense stat. And that's a nice chunk of damage. So I think Aurora Sphere will probably pick up the knockout um, onto it this next turn as we do see a steel spike from the right period is going to be it's into coma all again so i mean we still get clefairy we still got that clefairy support um going into this next turn and now definitely a helping hand aurora sphere is going to be enough coma all putting in the work game one so that is ideal for us and uh, i'm sure stew won't feel too left let down by this one uh which is the main thing always when you're playing someone else's team and you especially if you're content creator and you're featuring it you never want to let the person down that's provided you with the team so uh it's always nice to um to get a, a cheeky win to kick us off today so very good game to my opponent and uh nice to see the coma or doing some work but i think that the real star of the show really was the the Obviously, the Luxury played a part with its Intimidator. It did help us out early game, but the Clefairy coming in and showing how good um, a support option that can be for teams in Series 6. You know, the redirection, the Friend Guard is just so good, and I still think it's been uh, overlooked. Uh, we should have looked. We should have looked at the, if it had Trick Room. We should have looked. Should have looked. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Well, we'll have uh, another matchup soon, so... Let's pick that music. Where's Marnie? Where are you? Marnie 2. There we go. We locked it in. We get this one for the next one. And yeah, so we're going to have a bunch of teams this week for Series 6. So we'll have those coming up on the on the uh, the channel this week. So keep an eye out for those. And we've got some stuff planned for uh, In and Around Players Cup, which will be starting this Friday. So um, do keep an eye out for those. We've got Dexter Morgan. And this user really does ring a bell. Um, but I don't know who pretty sure well they do they do ring a bell i don't know who it is anyway they're playing a team of primarina comfy arcanine gudra amungus and snorlax so they've got that it's straight away like jumping out to me they've got the the comfy gudra combination there um which are probably weakness policy maybe a soul vest but more likely weakness policy in this team it gives it a real kind of offensive threat um got a trick room mode as well with the comfy that we need to be careful of especially with things like primarina and amoongus and snorlax it can all be problematic for us um i do like durant i really do like durant here what set are we running on durant let's have a look okay so we haven't got max lightning um which makes it a little bit more tricky to uh to bring with the amoongus uh we definitely need to try and stop the uh, the trick room, the comfy doing things. So that would be helpful. Uh, redirection is not going to be any good here, but the comma all might be all right. Although hmm, it may be a better late game Pokemon. We're running out of time. Let's go to rant. Let's go Luxury and let's go comma all. And I feel like I probably would want to bring Clefairy here, but running out of time, talking too much. We're going to lock in and we're going to see what we can do with this next one. So good luck, have fun, Dexter, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this next one. So like I'm saying, uh, just 
prior to the team preview there players cup stuff we've got lined up uh this week so some some interesting things and i think you'll enjoy it so do stay tuned for that i think it'll be it'll be uh it'll be a lot of fun right well pfft, we've got the among us and the schnollax uh, i feel like they're probably gonna rage powder and try and get a belly drum off you know before they max um that would be my big big bet now, whether or not we want to, like, I feel like because we've got safety goggles on and Talonflame, we can ignore the Rage Powder. So we can taunt the Snorlax. It does put us in a little bit of an awkward position where um, maybe we just protect Durant here because there's always the chance they may not Rage Powder and they may just go for a spawn. I don't want Durant being put to sleep. So let's just play it a little bit safer here. There's a Rage Powder coming out from Amoongus. We can taunt that the next turn. We just need to get this taunt onto Snorlax now. As, uh, yeah, it kind of, we got it right. We called it right. So it does try to get the belly drum up, which is ideal. So now we can taunt the Amoongus um, and we can start. Like, what's what's the, the premise of my opponent's team? Like, they do have the Arcanine. They're more, they're probably more physically based. Like, Gudras tend to be more physical. They've only got, like, Primarina, which is a special attacker. So I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, we'll taunt the Amoongus. And do we go Steel Spike or Rockfall or Quake? Mm, maybe Steel Spike's the better option to go into the Snorlax right now. Just get our defenses up. Um, okay, if the, the Arcanine our key nine may come in. Oh, it's okay. It's Primarina. That's fine. Uh, we can max Quake the next turn. The Snorlax, I don't know what it's going to do. It's probably just going to attack Talonflame. Um, I don't think it'll max, but you never can tell in sword and shield the dynamax mechanic definitely throws off a few uh <coughs> a few things in this format for sure um so we'll get the taunt off at least the primarina is not gonna be able to sing or anything like that perish or <laughs> anything like that i guess so uh, it probably will max the next turn now i would imagine um the steel spike damage onto the snorlax is incredible uh, Durant is incredible though. Durant is such a cool Pokemon. I do love Durant. It's definitely, I'm pleased it's kind of seen a bit more usage series six. Um, I do love it. I, uh, and I am a bit biased to it, but I'm sure there's a lot of Durant fans out there. Giga Impact. Okay, we might lose Talonflame here. Okay, no, that's, that's so weak. I guess the defense boost. <laughs> it's not weak. It's just the defense boost helping us out massively, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get Luxury out into the field. Um, and we will go for a Max Quake into the Primarina. Put the Snorlax down at minus one. Uh, we know it's in range from another Steel Spike if we go that direction. Um, but we want to try and get... Uh, our special defense boosted here with um, Durant. Maybe keep the talent fame for late game because it's obviously going to be useful against the, the Amoongus, if nothing else. You know, just to taunt it um, and shut it down and just ignore the, the potential rage powders there, which might help us. And obviously the Tailwind, which could come in useful late game, of course, as well. So um, get Luxray on to the field. Okay, we're going to see the Primarina switch straight back out. The Amoongus is coming back onto the field. Okay, I don't mind this too much because two Max Quakes is going to be more than enough to um, to get the Amoongus. Uh, the Snorlax obviously has to recharge here, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, we just probably go for another Max Quake into Amoongus this next turn. It may protect, but I mean, kind of pinning it at this point. Um, so they are doing a good job. <sighs> This is the issue now that the Snorlax has um, its taunt has worn off. So we could have we, we couldn't have had a, a more awkward um, huh, awkward turn. I think the Snorlax. Hmm, I don't think it's got protect. So we could attack into it and just remove it from the field. But we're doing that. Okay. Let's double the Snorlax. Uh, I'm gonna have to steel spike. I think there is the, the worry if Snorlax switches out and the Amoongus goes for a spawn, but it's yeah, it's gonna go Rage Powder. Uh, the defense boost is gonna be useful, I guess. But the thing is, the Snorlax now gonna be able to get its um, its Belly Drum off, which is not great. Um, and the Snorlax is gonna be the thing that maxes for sure. But it's going to be on very low health. We, if we if we can do enough damage with Volt Switch here, we can deny the Belly Drum. Um, that's the thing. So it depends what Luxray can do. 
Yeah, okay, that's enough damage there. We're gonna deny the belly drum. Okay, Luxray, you're a, you, you're you're the man. All right, we'll bring Talonflame back in. The Among Us gone now. I mean, my opponent's done well in stalling out a Dynamax turn, so that's the thing. Yeah, going for the belly drum, but it does fail, unfortunately. They're not gonna be able to get that off. Now, our Dynamax turns do end. Um, and it makes it tricky against the Luxray. Uh, Comfy coming in. Okay, and this makes things even more tricky because... Um, they can go for the floral healing into the Snorlax. So I think what we're going to have to do is go for a taunt into Snorlax. Um, because they're going to try and belly drum again. Um, and I think what we will do, we could rock slide. Probably better off just iron heading. Do I want to get rid of the comfy here? Yeah, I'm going to go after the comfy because I feel like that's the kind of support network for my opponent's team. If the comfy's not there, it can't. Can't recycle all this HP. Uh, they can't get it back. Whereas if we're attacking into the Snorlax, leaving the Comfy alone, it does allow the Comfy just to kind of like waste our attacks, um, or so to speak. You know, that's why I always think like with Pokemon like Comfy, you know, it's a good thing not to ignore them if possible. Probably going to see a Trick Room though now as well. That's the other thing. But we do hit the Iron Head, and it is enough to get rid of the Comfy. So that is ideal for us. Now, I'd imagine what we'll see now is the Primarina Max. So another Giga Impact comes out. Um, this this will be enough now to get the Talonflame. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Like I say, uh, losing Talonflame now, a speed control is not really a priority. Um, I think, if anything, we need to concentrate down hard on the Primarina this next turn. Snorlax is going to be minus two. It's taunted. It can't really do anything, especially this next turn. It has to recharge, so um, we don't worry about that too much. So the Primarina is the big kind of threat here. So if we can double into it with Durant Luxray, we have got the, uh, the special defense boost on Durant already, so... Um, that is definitely going to help us. Wild Charge, or do we Snarl? Hmm. Maybe Snarl turn one and go for a Iron Head into Primarina here. Prim is going to definitely max 100%, um, and it's going to hit us pretty hard. So the Snarl support is definitely going to help us here with Luxray. And then we can maybe... We can maybe double into it with an Iron Head Wild Charge the next turn. We should take an attack from Primarina here. Obviously, the rain's not up yet, which I'd imagine the rain will be set this turn. Um, so we just need to get enough damage onto it with an Iron Head now. And then the next turn, hopefully, Iron Head Wild Charge should be enough to get it. Depending on how it's been EV trained, of course. So there's the Iron Head. Oh, yeah, that's more than enough. That is more than enough that we need. Uh, and we've got the Snarl. Oh, okay. That's bad because now Luxray being slower. Okay. Well, that's not as bad actually. Okay. That is not as bad because now. Okay. That's fine. And with Como on the back as well, you know, the Snorlax isn't really an issue. So we'll get the Snarl. Okay. We really needed Luxray to kind of outspeed the Primarina, but with the Assault Vest there. Um, and because they didn't attack the Durant, that makes things a little bit easier for us for sure. Snorlax recharging that turn. We'll go for the Wild Charge now. Um, and Comma are all going to be able to outspeed Primarina. So worst case scenario is um, they double into Luxray again. Like, they, yeah, they double into Luxray. They're probably likely to attack Durant here. But Durant not worrying about its, um, its hustle ability. Just hitting every Iron Head, which I was kind of worried about. I didn't really want to say it because as soon as I say it, we'll miss. Um, going into the... Luxray, but again, that Snarl coming in huge there, even with the Rain Boost, not enough, and be able to take down that big Dynamax Primarina. So Luxray putting in the work here. Snarlax going to be able to get probably a Giga Impact off here, um, but I feel like this one we managed pretty well as the Darkest Lariat comes out. Okay, this will pick up the knockout onto Luxray, but it just paves the way for Coma or to come onto the field and um, help us clean up the Snorlax as its taunt does finally wear off once again. Um, and we'll be in a position now. Probably Iron Head going to be able to pick up the knockout, but um, Comma are going to be able to do the same with an Aurora Sphere. And I'd imagine we may see uh, the battle cancelled. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so very good game to Dexter. Uh, always nice to feature. Um, 
this sort of team and another win as well for 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 uh, Stu's team so as you can see we've had two really good games today I'm super happy with the results of course uh, as you would always be with two wins um, but I mean it goes to show it's a, it's a good solid team it's got some nice options in it some unique picks with the Luxorain and um, things like that and some obviously really nice item choices as well like smart item choices you know like how how imperative that um, the safety goggles were on on, on talent flame there to allow us to stop the snorlax setting up because if we don't have that there snorlax gets its belly drum up and maxes next turn and that match becomes incredibly difficult so i mean uh really really nice options here can we view can we check we can okay so there is a rental code my friends big shout out to Stu as well i'm right in the way of the the deluxe array but we know we've seen it's got volt switch uh, snarl psychic fangs as well as nice for like screens and stuff that we're seeing uh, very popular at the minute with grim snarl lapras and stuff like that so uh, just generally a nice option we didn't get to feature the melotic but you know melotic is what melotic is we've seen melotic a, a million times in in the sun and sword and shield format so i'm sure you guys can kind of formulate what it's there to do and slow teams down that are uh, a bit more uh, of a threat so if you do try the team out, big shout out to Stu, of course. But let me know down in the comment section below if you do try it out. Koma O is a very cool Pokemon, and uh, it was nice to see it featured today, especially in that first match where it did a lot of work. But uh, I think that's going to about wrap things up for you uh, today. And that's all I've got to say, really. But just a big shout out to Stu. Thank you all for tuning in as well. If you have enjoyed the episode, as always, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new for more of this sort of content and other Pokemon content that we do here on the channel and um i will see you all for another episode very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves have a great rest of your day and um i'll see you for the next one so until then take care bye bye